Hell yeah. Freaking looks so good. It's mustache season. Guys, I get it. Like, women don't like mustaches, which sucks. I just think, as a guy, it's like the cool... I don't know. Hi, I'm Dan, and I have a mustache. <laughs> that was a good little, like whispery ass laugh there. Before we get into any shenanigans with this video, I feel like I need to tell you what the DIY is. I've been trying to figure out how I can make an art piece related to how we all are so consumed about our appearance, our physical appearance. We either are comparing ourselves on Instagram, we aren't feeling adequate enough on the inside because of Hollywood or influencers in our hometowns or whatever. The grass always seems to be greener when it comes to the looks department. We're gonna make a mirror that lights up from the back that has wording on the top and bottom of one of my favorite quotes or poems. I have my moments, of course, when I look in the mirror and stuff like that, but for the most part, if I have an outfit that I like to wear, I'll wear it. There's two other people I can think of that, that do the same thing. My cousin Jeremy and my brother Brad. That's this week's DIY, this art piece. I've saved a special outfit for this exact moment. Let me show you. Come on, buddy. Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. Day two. You don't even notice actually when I just sat down. Mugs are either a left-handed mug or a right-handed mug. And it's on the left. So if I want people to see that, I got to drink my left hand. But I feel like it's more natural. Do like a Karen hold, you know? Hand in the mug, just like you're cold. Yeah. Today we're doing the DIY. Like th this quote that I'm kind of saying in this video, look a little closer, stare a little longer. It's something that I've actually thought about in my head for a few years now. I want you guys to feel that you can love yourself for who you are and what you see. Let's hit up some craft stores. We got to go to an electronic store. Let's go. All the leaves are brown. So here's what you're gonna need if you wanna make this art piece. Two cans of mirror effect. It's made by Rust-Oleum. Essentially, it's a mirror in a can. You spray this on the back of glass and the front side is gonna turn into a mirror. And they're about $24 a can. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need both, but you have to do five layers of this stuff. I also got some of these. This is LED strip lighting. This was only about $34. I got this at like a computer store. This is what our light source is gonna be behind our mirror. It's got a controller, it's RGB, so it can go a bunch of different colors. We are using a bit of the Cricut here, so we're using the vinyl. Again, you do not need a Cricut, but I'm just using this to make a stencil. And then I bought some basically frosted vinyl. And this is gonna help act as a diffuser, so when we put the strip lights down, it's not gonna be like, like right at our eyes. You're gonna need a shadow box. We want this to have a little bit of depth, which is what shadow boxes are. You can put jerseys in here, whatever, so they're a bit thicker and the glass isn't right up against it. You need a shadow box if you're doing the light up one so that the lights aren't directly against the glass. Do this outside. We are actually spray painting this outside so we're not breathing in those fumes. We're gonna start with the quote that we're actually gonna put on the mirror. So we're gonna use the Cricut for that. What we're printing out is look a little closer, stare a little longer. That's the saying we're gonna go with. If you guys wanna make a stencil yourself and you don't have a Cricut, you can draw it on paper, cut it out and then tape it and, th and that could be a stencil. Let's wait till this is all done. 
Well, the cricket's doing its thing. We're actually gonna open up our shadow box. We're gonna flip it over, pop out the back, take out the side. So these, these pieces actually slide out and that's what holds in the glass. So be very careful because this glass, it's like breaks so easy. This is essentially gonna be our mirror right here. With mirrored spray paint, if you have any fingerprints, anything, it's gonna come through in the mirrored spray paint. So you gotta take some glass cleaner and we're gonna clean any blemishes off of this and make it completely spotless. look a little closer. We're just using that to protect the glass where we don't want the mirrored spray paint to go. So next is uh, spray painting. We gotta spray paint the mirror in a can now. Now it's time for the fun part. Mirror in a can. Very thin layers. One pass, one pass, one pass. Look at that, it's already kind of mirror-y. <laughs> the cool thing about this stuff, you can actually see it dry and turning into a mirror right in front of your eyes. Okay, next layer. And the big reveal! I put a, a layer of purple paint on the back just to give it a dark backing so the reflection won't get affected by the lights that's in the frame. But boom! How crazy is that? <laughs> that is paint! So now that we've got our mirror, we're gonna take this and we're gonna pop it back into the frame. So these are the lights we got right here. We're gonna take these lights, stick them to the back of this thing. I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna focus mainly on the top and the bottom where the actual words are. Looks like that. See how this looks. Let's plug it in. We have the receiver. We have the plug right here. Boom. Okay, we got our colored board now. It's got a controller, so we can go red. <clears throat> we got blue. We got green, yellow. Before we put this in, we're gonna remove the lettering. Put in a small sheet of like sort of opaque, semi-transparent paper. Okay, one thing we're gonna fix so this frame can actually fit flush. We're gonna cut out a bottom square so this can kind of hang out there. So for that, we're just gonna use the Dremel. Whoa. So handy, oh my God. Okay. Should we do the big test? Oh! Oh, yo, that works so good. Oh my God, yellow, oh my God. That looks way better than I thought. That is so cool. I am in love with this. This may actually be my best DIY I've ever done. The whole concept here, mirror, is something we look into every single day. And it's something that a lot of us might have an issue doing because we don't like what we see back. The saying, look a little closer, stare a little longer, is something that when I look in the mirror on a bad day, I wanna be reminded of to say, Keep looking until you change your perspective. Keep looking until you see something that you like about yourself because there's something there. I think the hardest part for a lot of people is we tend to compare ourselves to people we see on Instagram. And something you have to ask yourself is, has that person had work done? Is that a natural look? Do they have a team of makeup artists? A lot of us might compare our everyday rawness or our real beauty to something that might be photoshopped and it's it's not a good way to live and it's toxic and it's only going to make that voice in your head not like what it sees back in the mirror it's okay to have a day it's okay to have a week where you are looking in the mirror and you're like i don't see anything i like about myself to have it last any longer than that you need to change something in the way you're looking at yourself i'm gonna leave you with the the quote guys if you don't like what you see in the mirror look a little closer 
stare a little longer until you change perspective and start to love yourself a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna see a photo of this, go over to my Instagram, at Danocracy. Post every day on my story over there and I do more pictures of my DIYs. If you guys enjoy these DIYs or these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every single Wednesday, I'm coming out with a new DIY and I'll see you guys in my next DIY. See you guys later.